tonight the day that the, the Lord is in control. Amen. Yeah, Jim, I don't care how fine you are <laughs> and how good looking you are. Yeah. I want to tell you that you're not in control. Right. But how do you men know that God is in control? Yeah. How do you ladies out there know that God is in control of the yeah. Yeah. When you accepted the Lord as your Savior, that old sinful nature, uh-huh, is still alive. Yeah, every now and then, that old sinful nature will want to rise up. Have I got a witness? Now y'all right Every now and then, your sinful nature don't want to rise up. All right, amen. Uh, come on, don't, don't, don't be quiet on me now. Every now and then, you feel like doing something that you shouldn't do. There's a part about you that lets you know I cannot, I just can't do it. No, because I have that is controlled of my life. Right. Oh yeah. Well, yes, then whenever we come in contact with the enemy, yeah. right. you know what we got to do? We got to confront the enemy. Yeah, yeah. yeah look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, learn how yeah. to confront the enemy. Yeah. Look what he did in verse number 22. Number 25, Joshua opened the mouth of the cave and bring out those five kings under me and out of the cave. And uh, they did so and uh, brought forth those five kings under them out of the cave. The king of Jerusalem, uh, the king of Haran, the, the king of Jamal, the king of Lachish, and the king of Evan. And said unto the captains of the men of war, which went with them, look what he says, come near, put your feet upon the necks of the kings. And they came near and put their feet upon the necks of them.